Hi, I'm Susan Erickson. This is my sixth video on why I love this rock. And today we have a heavy, dark blob of rock, which is just fabulous. This is called phosphorite. And there's many reasons why I love these. First is sentimental. And you know that always starts with me. When I first went to my thesis area in 1975, it was the first time people at the mine had ever encountered a woman geologist. So they didn't let me in the mine. And so while I sat there for a week waiting for the phone calls between Johannesburg at the university and the mine, like, what is this woman going to do? I got to sit in the mine office. Secretaries took pity on me and took me home for dinner, but the men brought me rocks. And I have to say, I have to admit, it's probably the only time in my life I ever batted my eyelashes in a good Southern way and said, oh, well, thank you. So they brought me fabulous rocks. You'll see more of them as time goes on, but this is one of them. And you wouldn't think, oh, wow, what a fabulous rock, but it is. So you see that crystal right there? That's olivine, and that came straight from the mantle. It's magnesium rich, and it tells me something about the chemistry of the rock it formed in. There's other things in here, such as bedelliite and apatite. And you know I've had this rock for decades, and it's still hard for me to find. So there's, well, there's an apatite. I'm going to show it to you closer. And there's some other things. But, you know, I have to really search around because it's pretty dark. There is copper colored or golden colored chalcopyrite, which is mined for copper. And this is very heavy. So there's a copper sulfides, which is very heavy. And there's magnetite, which is iron oxide, and it's very heavy. So there's the science of it. There's the sentimentality of remembering that first week at Palabora. And then, um, the third reason is the real kicker in here, it contains the mineral bedelliite or badliite, and it's zirconium oxide, which the oxide is used to make the blue uh, ceramic glaze. And I'm just the pers first person to date that mineral. And this was about 2 billion years old. You've seen that 2 billion year old rock before. Uh, last time we looked at zircons, which are zirconium silicates which form in more silica-rich rocks, but there was not enough silica in this rock, so it forms zirconium oxide, and it's very rare. So this rock is mined for copper, iron, apatite, phosphate mineral, and zirconium, which is quite rare. When I stopped, or when I ended, when I finished my thesis, I went to the mine to give a talk, and a lot of the mining people came from all over the area, and the big question was at the end, Susan, you know so much about this. How do we find another one? Well, it's still one of the great mysteries of life, at least to me. Um, I guess I say when I go to the pearly gates and they say you've got one question, it's going to be how did Palabora really form? So I love this rock. And um, see you next month.